Hey, what's up guys and today I'm back with another new video and today I'm gonna show you how to install CM7 Marvel on your phone so basically this ROM is uh, uh, the jelly beans which I did the last video of so I'm gonna show you how to install the CM7 so first you have to go to the recovery mode and flash everything you have to install the new ROM so to the, the link of the CM7 will be in my descriptions down below so after coming to the recovery you have to download you have to wipe everything you have so first of all I'm gonna wipe in the data factory my button doesn't work I guess yep the, the button doesn't work off. I'm gonna do like this uh, we have to do twice and just to be safe right what if some sometimes it get cancelled so we have to do twice we have wiped the cache partition oh sorry data uh, factory reset now we have to wipe the cache partition this is super easy you can do it anyhow my button doesn't work that's why I'm pressing so hard I'm doing with the one hand so now we have to go to the advance and wipe Della Kesha see my button doesn't work okay you have to go to the wipe Della Kesha yes you can do this once uh, one time you don't have to do twice so there we have it now all the ROM have been uninstalled so now let's go to uh, install zip from folder so we have to go to install zip okay and choose zip from SD card here we have it this is my ROM so we're gonna flash. Oops. So we're gonna flash it. Here we go. It's installing. This take a couple of times. So don't worry. It will download. It will install in any time. So until it's installed, I'll get you. Hey. So the install has been completed. It took one minute, I guess. So now let's go back and then reboot just simply reboot now it will automatically restart your phone and the first boot will take a couple of time like five to ten minutes so i'm gonna just i'm gonna show you that the when the phone starts okay so the bootloader has came the Sanjin mod 7 this is the official bootloader of the ROM so this ROM isn't official this is made by somebody else uh, just given the name of Sanjin mod and this talk ROM so I've seen this I think I haven't seen the photos of this ROM so I have a guess that this phone will be uh, HTC Sense but let's see what it is okay so the first okay i know this is the stock rom okay this is stock not the HTC sense okay this is much laggy okay this is laggy because it's the first start so it's it's all right okay after looking to the rom for two minutes i just realized that the camera and the camcorder I just recorded I guess those work so this is the photo I took of the desktop and this is video see this is working so I guess this ROM is stable you can take as ROM as stable so this okay I have used some of the ROMs which don't have keyboard in it I, I don't know why I have flashed some of the kernels of it but the keyboard doesn't work but on this ROM the keyboard does work so I guess this is 
<laughs> because last time I, I flashed a ROM, it doesn't have any keyboard, so I was like, I was really pissed on it because the ROM was pretty nice. So there wasn't any uh, party app that you can third party app that you can flash and on the keyboard. So that was the drawback of that ROM. But this ROM is totally stable. Stable. I've checked the Wi-Fi. I've I haven't checked the GPRS because I. I'm not using sim on it so I'm not sure of that so otherwise this ROM is really stable so there you have it how to install your CM7 and uh, CyanogenMod mod and how stable it is so the phone is now working fast okay as you can see this is not that much laggy oh that was a pretty nice am ammunition Oh, the dialer is awesome so there you have it this is the rom which i flashed today for you guys so hit that like button if you think this video helps you out and subscribe for more peace